I made a game that detects everything you say, and whenever you cuss. Donut one, donut two. Oh shit. It deducts one whole dollar from your Steam account. Oh f shit. And stick around because later we're going to be testing out some dynamic advertising solutions to help you earn that money back. I love pizza. I love pizza. I love pizza. I love back in the day, arcade games would cost a quarter every time you wanted to play. Since then, companies have been trying to find new ways of extracting as much. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, developing innovative consumer experience opportunities in an ever changing digital landscape. On April 3rd, 2006, a new DLC for The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion was released. Horse armor for $2.50, which the internet immediately mocked as being way too overpriced. However, the DLC did sell pretty well. People still bought the horse armor all the way up till Skyrim's release. Everything we've done has done well, uh, including the much maligned horse armor. <laughs> <laughs> I, sw I swear to you, I don't have the report in front of me, but somebody bought horse armor yet. Like, multiple people bought horse armor yesterday. For some inexplicable <laughs> reason, it happened, I promise. Everyone was really mad at the time at the price, but the frog has been chilling in the hot tub long enough that paying $2.50, even for like a texture swap, just That's seems right. normal. What? This is actually sick though. <laughs> What is this? We now have advanced monetization stratagems like loot boxes, battle passes, cheat codes, card packs, character slots, and new game plus is now, you have to pay for that. But I think there's still a potential revenue stream yet to be tapped. Game of Rage. I started making a Rage game in Unreal Engine 5. To maximize its infuriation potential, it's a first person platforming game where if you fall, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. I've been testing out speech-to-text conversion to detect what a player is saying in real time, which I can use to trigger events in the game. Watch the sunrise. That's cool, but what if it was midnight, for example? Nice. So you can see at the bottom, the closed captioning is trying to transcribe what I'm saying as fast as it can. Uh, and sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it's not, but I can use this to pick out keywords, uh, like noon, for example. And when it hears it, it changes the environment. Nice. I can also say we have this door here, uh, and I want to get in. I need the password to get in. And the password is open sesame. Side, we have our well, it's supposed to be a sesame bagel, but it's a donut. Sprinkles. Now I just needed to check each sentence to see if the gamer is angry, so I check for any cuss words. Whenever there's a cuss, it censors it and triggers a "there's been a cuss" event, which deducts one dollar from the player's wallet. Okay, testing out the cursing filter. Let's try "motherfucker," sh f you," "fucking." Assassin, assassinate. Assassinate, okay. What the f did you just say to me, you little b Okay. Okay. Um, fing hell, fing mother <laughs> Whenever they hit zero dollars, they get sent to jail and have to pay up to keep playing. Let me out. Let me out. In playtesting, I noticed this had a strange effect on players. Instead of paying more to cuss more, they just altered their speech patterns. Jump on this cussing pretzel. Ooh, my cussing made it. Now on to cussing apple. Cuss you apples. Oh, cuss. Okay, I'm okay. Jump. Jump. Cuss. 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 While this means a lower direct revenue from the player, it does create a potential advertiser-friendly environment, which is a rare commodity in this ever-changing digital landscape. Suddenly, the advertisement opportunities started rolling in. I added more words to the filter list, including violent words that would immediately teleport the player back to the start. But then players started finding happier alternatives to those words oh, as man. well. This is high up. If I fall from here, will I... Uh unalive or am I okay? But this just created an even more advertiser-friendly environment. 
Now the game had maximized its potential through two synergized money methods, gamer rage and advertising. But there is a potential problem. If a player completely runs out of money, IRL, they'll be unable to play at all. They won't be able to engage with the advertising, and the ad revenue would completely dry up. So what if we add a way for players to earn that money back in-game? These are the Sponsored Debtor Chambers. When a player hits zero dollars, they get teleported into one of these in order to earn their way back into the game. Each has a brand sponsor and fun mini-games to engage with. Huh. Okay, not available after... Say... McDonald's to end commercial. McDonald's! Ha 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 Hackers McDonald's 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 So what do you think? I'm looking forward to sharing this experience with all of you very soon. You know, in this ever-changing digital media landscape, there... Oh, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, what's up, dude? How's a uh, parappa and a bibby? Oh, this is for me. Thanks. Um, did you already open this? I just got a ladder. I just got a ladder. I just got a ladder. What's inside? It's a cease and desist from Sony Interactive Entertainment. Apparently, Sony already has a patent on a system for converting television commercials into an interactive network video game. So, uh, I'll have to stop development on this project. McDonald's. Well, I, I could still do the cuss word thing. Maybe I can make like a, a battle pass where you can unlock cuss words. <laughs> So in the course of making this video, I realized that my edition of Oblivion doesn't have horse armor. So I went to the store to buy the horse armor and you literally can't. Um, I have the game of the year edition and you have to have game of the year deluxe in order to get the horse armor. Um, but Steam already thinks I have this for some reason and there's no way to upgrade. So, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, what about Game Pass? Yeah, so the version of Oblivion on Game Pass is Oblivion Game of the Year Edition, which does not include the horse armor. Um, and there isn't a way to play the horse armor on the Xbox app version of this for some reason, even though they own it. So, long story short, I just spent 20 bucks, $21.54 for horse armor. 18 years after it released. <laughs> what can I interest you in? You've got to be kidding. 